He's gonna die. He's got one hit in him. <laughs> die, die, die. Hey folks, I'm Kenny Lee. I am the lead programmer on Rogue Legacy 2. And we have Teddy Lee, my brother, and the hey. lead creative uh, designer on Rogue Legacy 2. So we're watching a speed run. And this is interesting because, I mean, this game's still in development. It, um, it just, uh, it's interesting because he's working on a build of a game that just came out. So super impressed that there's already a speed run available. Um, I haven't seen any speed runs for Rogue Legacy 2. I've been too busy working on the game, so this will be kind of exciting yeah. to see this. We just did a dev reacts for Rogue Legacy Oh, he got rid of the um, slowdown. So that oh, no right, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so in the, in the options, you can actually turn off, every time you get hit, there's like a slowdown effect, and yeah. you can turn that off of the options. So it looks like he's also hitting the dummies as he goes, so he can uh, have the mana for the... Did sequence reacts hit the magic door or the trick oh, door? Oh, right. Yeah. So if I'm glad he didn't <laughs> like immediately glitch out the game like he did for the Rogue Legacy <laughs> speed run. That makes me feel better. This is cool. This guy's smooth. I like how he down struck and then made himself hit the top platform just to speed up the drop a little fast. A little right. bit. Oh man! Nope. So, like with the oops, with the first speedrun of Rogue Legacy one, there's lots of RNG that sort of worked against the guy's favor. I wonder if yeah. this guy's gonna have the same problem. So, um, yeah, this latest one we just added ground dashing as a starting ability, which. Right. I Speed think actually, up for yeah, so like even though the game is larger, I wonder if, I don't know if they're going faster. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little too fast. He just yeah, he like, the door. Door. <laughs> Ooh. Just graze that bullet. See, I can tell immediately that Rogue Legacy 2... I mean, well, oh, we know. that's lucky. There's oh, that's lucky. super lucky. That is super lucky. Oh, he's got both... Yeah, both. Right next both to each other. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is one thing we changed in Rogue Legacy 2, where we wanted to make it like more like a Metroidvania. So now you can go around and find these heirlooms, which give you permanent abilities. So that you didn't have to, like... Uh, find the runes and stuff and the enchantress because everybody end up just using the same kit almost. I like how he does that. He just yeah, dashes really with his good. fireball. That's that's slick. It's also interesting that you can tell by the game icons that he's playing on. A oh, screen. there. That was the... Uh, what he did? Where he, he, dashes, he dashes through enemies and then shield blocks to, to cancel out the uh, animation. So to cancel out the aerial knockback. It's oh, super, the aerial super, Yeah, it's super fast, especially because he has no... It doesn't look like people. it's easy to pull off, though. I like how he's uh, using I, it. it it's it's not too hard with slowdown, but I'm guessing it's actually super difficult with slowdown disabled. Yeah, he's got regular speed. Oh, what? Oh, my teleporters. <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying earlier is that he's doing the speed run in, uh, with a keyboard and mouse, not a gamepad. Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, this is cool. No massive exploits. He's just uh, playing it really, really well. I wonder if he's going to bother with that one. Yeah, he's not. I'm going to eat he's... my words soon, I'm sure. Yeah. So he just skipped one of the heirlooms. That's the one that lets you read memories. But I, I think he's avoiding that because he well, he doesn't need to read the memories. And I I think oh, the 15% damage bonus that he could get would slow the game down. Man, he, he's, yeah. he caught that boss door like, instantly. Immediately knew what it was and... Dashed through it. That's intentional. Yeah. Oh man, he is just he's just leading this guy. Yeah, and he's just like staying as close to him as possible. He doesn't care that 
the guy's about to attack. Oh, he's got to get down to a T. That was really good where he does a down strike into a hit. Ooh. It's like a super fast animation cancel for an extra hit. Oh, that is good. That was really good. Oh, what just happened? He did a, uh, another shoe oh, the block shield, shield Yeah, to right, destroy right. all the projectiles. That's cool. He's also making sure that um, the mana burn is always topped up. Oh. Oh, oh, he did it again. It's so fast. <laughs> yeah, in Rogue Legacy 2, we wanted more people to be casting spells. And it was kind of top heavy, where you just like, people would only start casting spells after they had like 500 mana. Um, so for this one, we made everybody more or less a spell sword because they had like the best cadence of attacking right. and shooting. Well, that was interesting. Very <laughs> Way easier than it's supposed to be. Yeah, uh, I wonder if he's gonna do this in one life. I don't think so. It's way too hard. It'd be way too hard to do it in one life. Yeah, it's. I think it'll be interesting because there's a bit of min maxing, right? Mm -hmm. Because I wonder if he's gonna unlock a different class. Well, now that we brought the unlock barbarian. The, now that we've reintroduced the architect with the latest, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. at least it's probably going to be a lot easier for speedrunners to maximize their times. Have a good relic to get. See, but in this one, he's not like killing enemies to get gold or anything. So that makes me wonder whether he actually plans on dying and. <laughs> Why he had to do that to the floor skeleton? That? Yeah, so he's here to get the um the echoes heirloom. Okay, okay. So he is optimizing which heirlooms he wants to get. Well, I think the the last few are all mandatory. Right. Well, I guess he could skip double jump, but that would make the game so much easier to harder, right? Yeah, or so much harder if he skipped it, yeah. If he falls here, he'd have to redo the whole sequence. <laughs> right. The it so tracks you yeah. the last time you've landed, so he's ballsy. Oh god, really good. I wonder. Oh, I Locking like that. That was cool. It, yeah. yeah, right into his attack. This guy is super slick. Oh, oh he didn't man. even land. That was oh, good. That's so cool. I wonder how many times they've played these heirlooms. Like, do they? Do you think these speedrunners just keep practicing them? Maybe. I don't know. I've 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 built that room. I've probably played that room a hundred times, but I don't think I've ever done a full. <laughs> this guy's a champ. So I'm assuming he's just going to like. Yeah, he's just gonna beeline through this. This is a really. Difficult biome for a lot of people because it puts so much into the platforming. But he's clearly mastered that. Yeah. Oh, I think he's just trying to get the... The boss? Yeah, the pizza girl. Oh, uh, hmm. Right, the pizza girl. I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, there's no way he can make it to the end point. Oh, that's super lucky. Oh, how did he know? I think I think he did. Oh, I think it was I think it was luck. Yeah, those, those are still uh, RNG. Yeah. So, huh? There's only one guaranteed uh, uh, house room that's in the tower, or that's in the not tower. That's in the study. Oh right, he has to be the study in this um, update too.
this was one of the hardest finals for us to make. It was super complicated. Get this thing. <laughs> it was a oh, real skip oh. the pizza girl. Okay. All right. <laughs> this biome was supposed to be our cheap biome. Yeah, it was, it was originally supposed to be like a, a super cheap, uh, you have some variety in, and it just kept exploding in cost. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I think it's it's a very unique biome. Yeah. I think. I think this this biome has a lot uh, thirty or 30, 34 or so uh, unique labs, which is a lot less than the six hundred fifty standard Oops. pool. But um, it actually probably built like over a hundred rooms just to get the uh, procedural generation working. Yeah, yeah, it just we just had to keep changing, keep changing. I'd like to go back one day and add more, just for just to increase the variety of it. <laughs> I, I mean, it looks like there's still some challenge, though. I'm glad to see that. Oh, yeah, too. If, if anything, I, I want to make it a little easier, just because the platforming is, like, just adding more variety with, like, a few easier, maybe more combat-oriented passages. Rooms, right. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this biome is long. It, you're supposed to use a piece of girl to cut it in half, but right. you're just doing it. Well, okay, you're... because there is a teleporter at the end room, right? The boss? Yeah. So maybe he doesn't need it. Because oh, he also geez. doesn't have the money for it, I don't think. So he's just going to go straight to the boss and use that as a teleporter. Wow. He's totally going to die in a hit. This is tight. Oh. He oh. made it. Oh, no, he didn't. He just, he just did it to flex. Oh, oh, that's interest. why he didn't do it, right? Because he's using it to get his life back. What do you mean? Because there's a bunch of <laughs> healing in heirlooms. Oh, right. To make right, him, right, like right, guarantee because we really wanted people to beat it on like their first try or second. But I'm I'm surprised that he's even. Maybe it gets too difficult without the heirloom. Because this one you said you don't necessarily have to get right. Yeah, but the fifteen percent is going to help a ton for the other bosses, right? Because I think if he's at level one when he's fighting them, they're gonna take like, you know, 80 hits or something. You're talking about reading their memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he needs double jump so bad. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. We actually, he does a, yeah, he keeps a spin kicking during wow, the fight. did you see that spin kick? That was super yeah, that's something we added in the Far Shores update. We're just always trying to make the game feel, like, smoother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad people are... Uh, killing them the way they intended to, as opposed to just brute forcing them, fighting them. Well, those rooms actually got changed a couple of times after uh, it went live, just to get people to, just to make it more like obvious. Right. Okay, so you think he's going to use this? Yeah, go, but that's why I was like, oh, he's just flexing, but no, he totally did that so he could open the door and fight the, get the skeletal boss bonus. Oh, the skeleton boss bonus, right. He doesn't need the first boss bonus anymore. He, he just beat the first boss. Yeah, you're right, he's going back. Oh, man, that's so... So satisfying, yeah. Always oh, love doing that. So people said this this boss is challenging for them, right? This boss is challenging because there's two of them. That always makes it difficult, right? Yeah. And originally, we really has... wanted people to um to to emphasize kicking off of them, like spin kicking up off the the, the skeleton bosses, but uh. Something like that 
that uh, complicated is something you, I think you just have to explain. Wow. Oh, man, he's just throwing them. The rotation of the projectile as it comes out, and he just slips right through it. Stay in the middle. Oh, look at so that. good at that, yeah. Oh, man. And then he does the uh, the shield block right. Oh. That's really good. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's in between both. Oh, yeah, that's cool. One good. fireball really triggers good. both of them. I like that. Oh, man. that. oh, man. Oh, man. That's way better than me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Game's too easy. This is not so. It's just about to beat the first one. There we go. So smooth is that shield block dashing. This boss is usually a big blocker for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is why we, we made the next file, the, the study, uh, sequence breakable, just so people could like grind in a higher biome. Well, if anybody says he's hard, just show them this video. <laughs> Move on. Let's go on. So for this one, he's going to have to go through the area a little bit more, right? Because you oh, know, yeah, yeah, they're right going to be way higher level. Get to the boss. It looks like he is going to try to do this in one run. That's interesting because, like, I wonder if it would be faster if he died and then used some skill points, bring up his strength. Oh yeah, he's totally getting the lilies. Oh man, he's like remembered the layout of even the lily rooms. Oh yeah, he can't skip double jump. He's got the requirement of all airlings, all bosses. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, because we have we have Ooh. so many random rooms in this game. Whoa! Yeah, and he just it feels like he's got them all down pat <laughs> somehow. Yeah, actually, we had uh, three hundred and seventy odd rooms in Rogue Legacy One, but you only got from a pool of like two hundred and fifty, uh, just because of the way our castle generator worked. Like the other last one hundred were super super rare. Oh, um, yeah, we have the same. Similar issue with this one, but we use like a way more complicated algorithm so that the, the pool of rooms is higher. Like the pool of frequent rooms is higher, I should say. There's still some ultra rare rooms, but we're still trying to, we're still tweaking it. Did he take it now? Oh, so lucky. Oh. There's always the rightmost room, but still. I like that secret. <laughs> we went heavier on the, on the. The hitboxes were a little bit game. wonky in the last patch, right? Like it was hard to pull uh, that off, bouncing off the water, and then we made. Oh it man. Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who needs sequence breaking? He just breaks the stages. Oh, that's good. Yeah, his his um utilization of the fireball spell is really really good. Oh man, so nice. Didn't get rid of it. We were originally thinking of removing shield dashing because uh, he made a previous video where it was just shield dashing everywhere, and so we were like, oh, how are we gonna fix this? Because we did want the knight to be like. The, the the jack of all trades class and um the shield dash kind of just kind of ruined that uh but instead we went for this cooldown which is much much uh that let us keep the coolness of the shield block dashing now that he's got double jump he's probably going to be manipulating the stages a lot faster yeah oh okay okay no no he's going back so he can uh teleport oh, so he guessing to the study 
right? Yeah. Maybe he will kill himself. <laughs> oh no, he's not going to the study. Oh, right, right, right. Getting the upgrades. Because the bosses are, are so much higher than him at this point. He's trying to find the path to where the yeah. boss is likely. Yeah. Thanks for the offer, but I'm not going to accept it. Thank you. Now it's your turn. It's just a little bit of luck to see if he runs into the boss or not. Does he already have the lilies? Yeah, he does. Okay. No, I think he only has one. I can't see the bar at the bottom. No, he has two. No, he had two. I don't remember getting a second. Going so quickly. Uh, I think he's trying to get a a weapon. That would be the best one for a speedrun, getting any type of sword So drop. far, though, I'm pretty happy. There's been no, like, blatant abuse. <laughs> <of the laughs> yeah. Glitching the bosses so they don't move. Yeah. Oh man, it's so good. It just matters that you have something. Actually, no, what's the changes? It's like it scales better, but Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't also waste his mana on the fireball. Mm -hmm. He just makes sure because you can't you can't stack the mana burp for the Does he always dash through the fireball. Yeah he does. Okay, okay. That's just to speed it up because he doesn't wanna down strike, fall, and then kick through. Yeah, yeah. So this is a very different take from the Rogue Legacy one. Yeah, yeah. These were more, um, had, had, had more motifs to them. We went really safe with this boss in terms of like her aggression. We actually bumped it up a little bit just because she's so platform heavy, right? And we didn't want her to become like this uh, super blocker for people who were just like having too much trouble with the platforming in this game. She seems fairly aggressive to me. She got bumped up a little bit, <laughs> but she's still like a lot less than uh, like Lamek, right? I wonder if he's even gonna bother using the architect. I think it's a thing. Oh, is he gonna stay on this platform? No, that would be insane. Man, he never lands. He's just always in the air. So one thing we did change from in oh, he didn't do it. That was oh, an imperfect sure. block, yeah. Right, right. Oh. Wow. Oh, I just noticed his his use key is up. Yeah, I which just means saw he that. definitely never plays like <laughs> the Valkyrie or anything because his control would be totally broken. No, I mean. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, it would be too bad. Yeah, and and the up button is actually vanilla, yeah. more traditional Rogue Legacy one. With Rogue mm -hmm. Legacy one, you have to press up rather than an interact button, so maybe he's just. Uh... Another thing we changed from Rogue two to Rogue one is that um, in Rogue, Rogue one the bosses hit like a truck and didn't have too much HP. Um, but for row two, we went the opposite and gave the boss a lot more HP, but actually hit, sometimes they hit for less than a standard enemy. And that was just to like uh, put more into the actual learning of the boss experience. Yeah, whereas in row one, a lot of people would be like, oh, I can just kind of burn it down and stand there if I, if I raise my stats enough. But you can still do in row legacy too. It, yeah, you can still do it, but it'd be a, acquire a lot more, more stats, right? Because oh, the HP is so high. Right. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's trying to find the entrance to the study, right? Yeah, That's yeah. The last item that he has to beat. He's already beaten yeah. the other two. Yeah. So the study. <laughs> beat that like I tell you, ran into that. <laughs> Dodges everything but that. Um, but the study, like, because the study only came out as of the re this recording a couple weeks ago, like, there's not a much time. A couple weeks ago, say, in, like, one week. Oh, no, no, no. I don't it's remember. Long, but, but, time um, was... like, three weeks, I think, at this point. Oh, really? But it's not oh, much man. time to practice this biome. So I'm, I'm curious to know how 
if you if he will be as proficient with this biome and this boss as he was with all the other bosses that we just saw. Oh, so that's so lucky. <laughs> right at the start, man. That also gives him the HP back. Oh, yeah, super and this gives you the extended, the extended Yeah, fast. super you useful. You can, can go as much fast. Touch, uh, yeah, go through as much faster. I love this ability. This one is super fun. So uh, for the people who haven't played it, uh, the this ability lets you hold dash, and you can increase the distance, I believe, by uh, like 175%. Uh, I'm not sure okay. about this. So, but right. I... so extends it by yeah three quarters? Yeah, I believe so. But that on top of the fact that uh, he's got the Echo Zero, where dash is reset when you down kick, this just like completely explodes. Yeah, uh, he, the he doesn't need the ground game. anymore. Yeah. I like that he just like he throws a fireball mm -hmm. and then just walks away. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that was super fast. You're supposed to dash forwards and back in that previous room, but he just completely. Oh, I was like, what the hell? What, what yeah, enemy is that? Did. I don't remember that zombie. <laughs> Oh man! He's like two centimeters from the water line. This is a very yeah. This is a very different take from the other, from the Rogue Legacy one reacts. Like that one was more like, what's going on? How how do you do that? This one is more just admiring this guy's skill. Also, it's been 10 years that I've played Rogue Legacy 1. <laughs> but much <of> this game. <laughs> oh, look at that. He just... Yeah, I like that. Oh, man. Yeah, look at just so confident so in that. Much through everything. Let's go to find a teleport. That sounds good. Let's find a teleport. That's not a teleport. This boss always appears at the top, so the fact that he's not beelining to it means he's trying to find that that fifteen percent. Oh no, he's got to find the yeah, 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 yeah. I completely forgot. He got so, so a lot of bosses he can, left. <laughs> before he can get to the final boss of this yeah. biome. He has to fight. He has to, well, first he has to find, and then he has to fight two additional sort of sub bosses mm -hmm. that paved the way to the final boss so he's looking for those rooms now oh he's on the tippy toes oops that guy oh that's support. good which one does this do uh it's 10 percent crit right. chance yeah it's flat so it, it it actually scales really well but he's got he's got so much <laughs> Oof. oh look at that just oh that's cool so maybe they don't know because it's been so. Oh no, he found it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we remade this room like six times. There's so many ways to. Yeah, exploit so it. many ways to exploit it, and it just. We, at first we were like, oh yeah, it's fine if people exploit it, but then the amount of people who are like, oh, this is so buggy, and I I can't say it. So we're just like, okay, no, we need people to actually know how to do it properly. So we oh, kind of. This guy's so good. Yeah. So one of the sub bosses uh, predominantly spawns to the left, right? No, we are always to the, the oh, farthest yeah, leftmost room. The other one, though, is completely oh, trust. Trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one no, is no completely guarantees. random. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but the fact that, like, because, like, I see on the map. Oh, I actually think he just missed the, the other boss room. There's a slot in the map which would fit it perfectly. Oh no, he actually he does know. Like you're right, he passed all those rooms and went to the left, so he knows. Yeah, that's right. Is. Yeah, I think he felt. Oh, what the? Nick, he's going for the other room. He's gonna die. He's got one hit in him. <laughs> die! 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 <laughs> oh, he found him. 
Okay, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. got both rooms. He's doing he's this one first. Easier, and I think he can get health, possibly, he's off of a lot of the props. Oh! He... What's going on? Oh, no, he yeah. died! He spikes. He landed on a platform and dashed. Dashed, yeah. He got spikes in his head. Oh, man. <laughs> he killed so few enemies in that. But well, he killed a bunch of bosses. Oh, what did he take? I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't looking. A barbarian, I guess. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter actually. He's just gonna unlock whatever class he wants. You think he's gonna beeline for a class? Yeah, yes, I'm yeah. going to guess the barbarian. Barbarian. Oh wait. Here we go. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he passed up on it. Yeah. Passing up on all of them. Oh, he just wants to stay as a knight. Okay. Oh, is he, is he just trying to get the damage up? Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, he needs the architect. Yeah. He only put one point into damage up. Oh, it's because he wants to make sure he can buy the blueprint first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just wanted to absolutely make sure he didn't. <laughs> Some health for good measure. Mm -hmm. Lock world always. Yep. Yeah, one thing we do want to change is that um, it was the same problem that you saw in Rogue Legacy 1, which is all the speedrunners end up playing as a knight. Uh, I want to try and fix that for this one to get let, let speedrunners kind of be the class that they want to be. But in Rogue um, Legacy 1, the speedrunner was a shinobi. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you're still doing 90% of it as a knight, right? But like we've got so many classes and there's like more coming out that it'd be like... Such a shame. <laughs> Such a shame. Players. Yeah, I'm relegated to, to the to the night class. Although the night is like super OP. All of the class kits we just like amp to eleven. Oh man. He got to here before this you're not supposed that's, to be able to do that. Okay, so that's a bug. That that big bright right red yeah. light is on it's our still track. awesome really. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, this is gonna <laughs> it's gonna well, at least from this video, now I can see yeah. it happening 100%. I should be able to reproduce it and fix it. So, man, super lucky on the on the on the on the wind wall. On the damage wall, yeah, yeah. But still, he's using it like perfectly. Oh, man, he just cast it 100% of the time because at least for yeah, this yeah. boss, yeah, this, yeah. Boss, this boss is super super static. Super so you static. Can keep yeah, back, so it's a little bit easier than the other ones. He was a cool boss too. Sad. <laughs> he just you just got a team right through. I was getting such low level gear just because. Oh, yeah. why do you do that? Oh, is it uh, faster? Oh, because to... of the, the, the cutscenes kick in, right? Oh, he's just skipping all the cut. Oh man, yeah. I'm surprised that the game doesn't like freak out. I, I actually did not account for that. So um, the fact that it works is relieving. He's gonna corner stick these guys. I know about this one, but <laughs> oh wait, oh no, he can't. Only the barbarian can. Okay, because yeah, he doesn't have a strong enough knockback. Oh no, he does. <laughs> oh, he doesn't do it though. Okay, okay. No, no, no. That was just for that. Yeah. 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 Okay. This doesn't have a strong enough knockback either. Like they're they're getting lifted, but too little. Right. Man, he's good with these spells. Oh, gee. Oh, that was good. Yeah, such tight corridors. This boss was actually, I think... I thought this guy was easier yeah. than, uh, than the Murmur, personally. Yeah, they're lower. They're lower level than Murmur, I believe. They take way more hits, though. Yeah, yeah. Murmur has a very few HP because we didn't want him like when, once you reach him, hitting right. him for like a minute. Because minutes. that sequence, yeah, we just wanted to be kind of short. Like you got to him. Is he gonna press start and go to the menu after he opens the chest? At least it's gonna be leather. Oh, so, so they know yeah. when the save file triggers. Yeah, and when That's when good. it actually updates your save.
Uh oh. So you can tell by the speed run that this is faster than his previous one, right? Because it said Enoch at five. Oh yeah! Wow, minus. He's acting strange. So I'm wondering if that death that he had actually helped speed things up for him. Maybe I don't know, but cause it also relates to a lot to. Uh, I like that. That's really good of him. Yeah. That that move specifically, it'd be one of the players that. Oh man! <laughs> He's destroying it with his ability. Wow. This is a fun boss to watch. Well, it was. He's Especially just, with... <laughs> he's not doing any moves. Oh, that's cool. Let him dodge yeah. out all of the, the attacks that are coming his way. Can he move? No. It's oh, awesome. oh, and then he does a freaking shield dash through that <laughs> all at once. That's really good. I'd actually say, yeah, this looks like, I feel like he beats this boss a lot faster than the other bosses because he did um, have the opportunity to bring up a strength. Also, um, the fact that when he did die, he was able to, to He's really navigate good. the skill tree to, to go yeah. to the exact skills that he wanted leads me to believe that he, uh, like, maybe dying is part of the plan or it is like there's like a contingency if you do die. Like, if you do die, then this is what you would do. Um, to sort of mitigate any of those losses, go bring up your strength as high as possible. That's cool. That's really good. And now it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Second mode. This boss took, this boss was expensive to make. What was it? Yeah. Not this boss, but this boss in its entirety. With all oh, these, yeah, yeah. He's more well, like three he, pages. Yeah. yeah. This guy's this guy's tough to beat quickly because he's so he's very oh, hurt. that's good. Running around a lot. Yeah. Um, oh, that's yeah. I like that timing for the for the poison coins. Man, he's so, using this wind ball like so well. It's insane. Can you can you wind ball those uh, potions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like he shoots it upward because when the enemy runs into it, I think it'll deal more because it's it, yeah. as, if it's away from him that was actually the community was like oh i wish spells were more flexible right in yeah. general and we're like yeah you know what that makes way sense and then we just rehauled like all of the spells oh so i don't think he actually wind walls it because they would probably explode yeah i like so that it wouldn't option. actually help him yeah that's really good of him he keeps just doing like, it in matching the dps so well i like I wonder, did he purposefully choose this class because of the Windwall? Like, I'm maybe, wondering, maybe. there's got to be some Yeah, because like, that... he's totally going to take the Barbarian. The Barbarian DPS is just so high, but yeah. I think the utility actually... But, like, because, like, the, the spells that he's used, he's used really, really well. Very, very mm -hmm. proficient with these spells. I wonder if some of the spells, like, don't get for speed runs because they deal a lot, oh, yeah, but they're yeah. not helpful. That was cool. Oh, I didn't drop any. <laughs> oh, wait, no, right. Another what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> boss time. <laughs> no. no more bosses. Dang. That was good. That was good. Very cool. This guy was, yeah, this guy is a Rogue Legacy yeah. 2 Pro for sure. Well, that was fun to watch. Um, yeah. I'm glad there wasn't any major, major exploits, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, he's really, really good. Yeah, super good. I actually. I also like that it took 38 minutes and not, you know, 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, and if you haven't played it, uh, give play it a really shot. Too. <laughs> it's, it's only 30 minutes. No, no, no. It's actually super hard. <laughs> thanks.